Hello, and today is discussing service advising techniques. Uh, my friend Stephanie in Louisiana asked me to do a YouTube video that would help me because I had some old information because of all the times I've been on drive lines. Okay, so I'm just going to get right into it. The first thing we're going to talk about, was, which me and her talked about uh, Friday, was ask for the diagnosis. Always ask for the diagnosis. In other words, if somebody comes in the shop, you let them know up front. I always use this philosophy. It's all a matter of words. Okay, to diagnose the vehicle, the first hour is $159.95. Oh, you have an extended warranty? That's okay, because if it's covered under your extended warranty, then the diagnosis fee goes away and you just have a deductible if you have the deductible. If it's not covered by your extended warranty, then and if you don't want us to do the repairs, then you just owe us for the diagnosis fee. If you choose to do the repair, then the diagnosis is part of the repair. And it's the same thing with the customer paying item. The diagnosis is this. If we do the repair, then it's part of the repair. If we don't do the repair, you just owe us the $159.95. I even had an initial buy that. The reason why you do that up front is you don't want anybody showing up that declined a repair and then wonder why am I paying $159.95. You didn't say anything about the diagnosis. This causes arguments, it causes bad disgruntle, and then your manager will probably give them the diagnosis and you lose the money. The tax still has to be paid. Now remember, your heart is not part of this equation. Anybody goes anywhere. They have to pay for a service. It's a job. It's not a favor. Okay. A lot of techs or a lot of your other coworkers might not tell the people about their diagnosis up front. That's not your problem. You train your customers to understand what they're getting into. It's called no surprises. The whole world likes everything transparent now. No surprises. There's no surprises in service advising. Always let the customer know the cost up front. It will prevent any kind of arguments or questioning when they come to pick up. It will prevent phone calls about why was I charged this. Let them know what they're paying for before you touch the vehicle. Do not diagnose the vehicle without permission. If you're gonna continue the diagnosis after the hour, get their approval are already, sometimes you can, now this is not a hard stance rule. If you know the customer, they're a key thrower, they're gonna do the repair anyway. Okay, that's fine. Those are different customers. Those are people that you have built a trust with. People you don't know, you must build that trust and they will respect you more for asking for the diagnosis up front. Plus, it will prevent people from giving you 10 things to look at that aren't related that are part of, again, they have an extended warranty. It's not free time because they have an extended warranty. It's as per the contract. And if they say, well, I shouldn't have to pay diagnosis, I have a warranty. Well, the contract that you purchase requires that you authorize the diagnosis, okay? It's the contract, they bought it. The, you, you do not have to justify why it's that simple. Well, in your contract that you purchase, and you're not being mean, and you're not saying no, you're simply saying it's in the contract. So always ask for diagnosis up front. It will prevent any kind of misunderstanding if someone doesn't do the repair. You're not here to give away time. The electric bill does not go on, does not get paid by a good heart. Okay, so if you like this advice, and you would like to see more, please leave a like at the end of the bottom. If you wish to, for me to uh, address a topic that you have, we will be talking about training your customers, training your techniques, your technicians, full selling of a product, full transparency to the customer about what you're selling them and what it guarantees and what it comes with. So if you'd like to hear any of these topics, my name is Thomas Plager, P-L-A-G-E-R, if you have any questions, please leave them on here, or I have an email, tplager5509 at gmail.com. 
and I'll try to answer any questions you have. That's T-P-L-A-G-E-R at 550 at gmail.com. All right. Thank you, Stephanie, for encouraging me to do this, and I will try to do some more this weekend. Thank you. You guys have a great weekend, and be happy.